Scanning electron microscopes allow us to see microscopic things in a new light and reveal so much more than what we can see with our naked eyes. While some images taken by an electron microscope can be easy to recognize, others are quite surprising as small things can look very different up close. Have a look and see if you can recognize the following electron microscope images. Mouth parts of an ant lion. The larval form of this insect lives at the bottom of a cone shaped hole where it waits patiently for any unsuspecting prey. When ants or similar insects fall into the hole, the powerful jaws of the ant lion crush and kill the prey. Another name for the ant lion is the doodle bug. The wrinkled surface of a dry black pepper cone. The bite of black and white paper is caused by an alkaloid, piperine. The black color is the result of browning of the paper cones caused by a fungus, Glomerula cingulata. Nib of a ballpoint pen. Ballpoint pens have an internal chamber filled with a viscous ink that is dispensed at the tip during use by the rolling action of a small metal sphere. These are pollen grains of a mango, which are edible sweet tropical fruits. Mangoes have been cultivated in South and Southeast Asia since ancient times. These are rhinoviruses infecting the surface of a nasopharynx. The nasopharynx lies behind the nose and above the level of the soft palate. The rhinovirus is a tiny virus that causes common cold and spreads easily in the air by droplets produced by coughing or sneezing. The virus may infect mucous membranes of the nose and also the lungs causing bronchitis. There are no treatments that can kill a rhinovirus and there are over 100 types of rhinoviruses. They cause 30 to 35 percent of the common cold in humans. Head of a hookworm this is one of the common causes of hookworm infestation in humans, particularly in subtropical regions such as North Africa and India. The worm's head contains several tooth-like structures with which it clings to the bowel of its host. Hookworms also infect dogs and cats. Human infestation begins with larva penetrating the skin usually by burrowing into the feet of a person and entering the bloodstream. The larva then migrates throughout the body, particularly the small intestine. A Chinese fever vine flower. This plant is native to temperate and tropical Asia and has become naturalized in many other parts of the world. They are known for the strong sulfurous odor produced when their leaves or stems are crushed or bruised. This is because the oil responsible for the smell and found primarily within the leaves contains sulfur compounds. Nerve cells and glial cells. The nerve cells have small cell bodies seen in orange color and fine extensions called axons and dendrites seen in brown. The glial cells have large cell bodies seen in blue with thicker extensions seen in pale green color. Neurons are responsible for passing information around the central nervous system and from the central nervous system to the rest of the body. Glial cells are nervous system cells that provide the neurons with structural support and protection. A corn flake. Corn kernels from corn plants are ground and processed into flat sheets. They are then cooked to form corn flakes. Corn flakes are a common breakfast food that has a high dietary fiber content. A horned tree hopper. Tree hoppers are also called thorn bugs and are closely related to cicadas and leaf hoppers. They are found throughout the world except Antarctica. Tree hoppers pierce plant stems with their beaks and feed upon sap and water. They have a unique pronotum that resembles a thorn to aid in camouflage. Human lip skin. This view shows small hairs, the cracked lip surface and sweat and oil droplets. The skin of the lip with 3 to 5 cellular layers is very thin compared to typical face skin which has up to 16 layers. 
with light skin color the lip skin contains fewer melanocytes because of this the blood vessels appear through the skin of the lips which leads to their notable red coloring coronavirus is developing inside a cell coronaviruses are among the largest rna viruses they have a viral single stranded rna molecule that forms the protein complex together with a capsid protein Coronaviruses produce respiratory and gastrointestinal diseases in humans and animals. About 25% of banal respiratory diseases in humans are caused by coronaviruses. The novel coronavirus like the SARS virus belongs to the beta coronaviruses. SARS with the coronavirus causes high fever, difficulty breathing, coughing and pneumonia. This is a nano patch, a tiny patch with thousands of vaccine coated microprojections. It is applied to the skin for just a few seconds to efficiently deliver vaccine to the immune cells below the skin surface painlessly. It gives people across the globe access to safe, effective and needle-free vaccinations. The eight eyes on the head of a Mexican red need tarantula. This tarantula does not have very good vision, mostly relying on its sensitivity to noise and vibrations detected with its leg hairs. The eyes are located on a raised bump on the head. A seed from an elm tree. Elms are deciduous and semi-deciduous trees comprising the flowering plant genus Almus in the plant family Almaceae. The genus first appeared in the Miocene geological period about 20 million years ago originating in what is now Central Asia. Silver crystal growth between electrical solder joints causing electrical failure. These are the suckers of a long fin inshore squid which they use to grasp prey. These squids are found in the North Atlantic schooling in continental shelf and slope waters from Newfoundland to the Gulf of Venezuela. They are commercially exploited and the population makes seasonal migrations that appear to be related to bottom water temperatures. Nail clippings. Fingernails and toenails are made of a tough protective protein called alpha carotene, which is a polymer. A milkweed butterfly caterpillar. This image shows the underside of the larva of a milkweed butterfly, showing its mouth parts in lower center and four legs at bottom center. A coronary blood clot. A blood clot in the coronary artery showing red blood cells in a fibrin mesh. An egg of a Julia helicona butterfly. These are the calcium carbonate skeleton of a bryozoan colony. Bryozoa are aquatic animals that consist of microscopic zooids that form colonies. A thin crust is formed around each zooid consisting of a protein and mucopolysaccharide material that can be calcified. Around 5869 species have been discovered so far. Forget me not flower. The petals are covered by numerous projections called papillae. Collectively, the petals are known as the corolla. At the center of the flower are the male and female reproductive structures. The stamens in yellow color produce male gametes in the form of pollen grains and are fused to the corolla. The female reproductive structures not seen here are located in the hole at the very center of the flower. The surface of the gallbladder, a pear-shaped sac which stores bile secreted by the liver. This image shows the numerous microvilli that cover the columnar epithelium. A broken nylon pedal harp string. A cave water scorpion found only in the caves in Romania, where life has been cut off from the outside for at least 5.5 million years. It has evolved in total darkness over that time and has lost its eyes as a result. At center are its piercing mouth parts it uses on its spray. This is tofu, showing the microstructure of coagulated soy milk proteins. 
A minute particle of the soybean consisting of cell walls filled with tofu indicates that this is a product made from a plant source. These gram-negative rod-shaped bacteria are found in soil, water, and as normal flora in the human intestine. However, they can cause serious wound, lung, skin, and urinary tract infections, particularly in hospital patients. They produce extracellular polysaccharide, a sticky slime-like substance that enables them to grow in large masses and resist antibacterial agents such as antibiotics. The trichomes on a stem of the bunny ears cactus. The long trichomes help to protect the plant from pests. Also seen are smaller projections covering two stomata, which are openings that regulate gas exchange between the plant and the atmosphere. The origin of this cactus is northern Mexico, but it is grown worldwide as an ornamental plant. This waterborne parasite of humans belongs to the group of blood flukes. This fluke lives in the veins of the intestines and bladder, attaching itself to blood vessel walls using a suction pad. The female lives in the groove on the male's back. It ingests blood cells through its mouth and its eggs pass into water in urine and feces. The larva produced can infect humans through their skin. It causes intestinal cystosomiasis and is the most prevalent parasite in humans. The venomous harpoon of a cone shell, a type of marine snail. The cone shell is a predator that fires this harpoon into its prey, usually a fish or a worm. The venom paralyzes the victim, allowing the snail to devour it. The venom is highly toxic and several human deaths have been recorded. The venom contains proteins called conotoxins, which contain the amino acid gamma carboxyglutamic acid. This is involved in the blood clotting process in humans. Study of the snail's biochemistry could lead to new drugs to treat clotting disorders such as hemophilia. Shown here is a section through a pear fruit revealing a cluster of sclerides, also known as stone cells. Sclerides are cells composed of thick cell walls that surround only a very small central cell cavity. The thick cell walls consist of cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. A few thin-walled parenchyma cells are also present. The small holes within the cell wall layers are called plasmodesmata. Patina is a thin green or brown layer that forms on the surface of copper, brass, bronze and similar metals or certain stones and wooden furniture through age and exposure. It is produced by oxidation or other chemical processes and can provide a protective covering to materials that would otherwise be damaged by corrosion or weathering. They may also be aesthetically appealing. A Pencil Scribble An Ant's Anus Ants excrete bodily waste through a single orifice, their anus, which is located at the tip of the abdomen. Vascular Bundle in Celery Celery stalks have numerous vascular bundles, which act as a transport system. Shown here is a single vascular bundle in a celery stalk. The vascular bundle contains two types of conductive tissue, phylum, seen here on top area, and xylem, lower area. Phylum is tissue that transports larger organic molecules through the plant. Xylem is tissue that is responsible for transporting water and nutrients through the plant. These feather-like structures are gold nanostructures. As gold particles get smaller in size, they interact with light differently, which creates colors. Centuries ago, stained glass used gold nanoparticles to create different colors in the glass. The hinge between a pair of glasses and one of its arms. Various bacteria in a sample of human feces. At least 50% of human feces is made up of bacteria shed from the gut. Many of these bacteria are a normal part of the flora found in the intestines and are beneficial to digestion. However, some are pathogenic, such as Salmonella enterica and certain strains of E. coli, which can cause foodborne illnesses. 
This is a mealworm, the larva of the Tenebrio beetle. They are often used as bird feed and fishing bait and are sometimes used for human consumption. Insects contain a far higher protein content than meat from traditional farm animals. It is thought that insect sourced protein could be the answer to food shortage problems of the future. Anther of Titan Aram or Corpse Flower showing the locule, the cavity where the pollen is located. The Titan Aram is a flowering plant that has the largest unbranched inflorescence in the world and smells of rotting flesh. A cricket's tongue. 